Microsoft has just announced more huge news about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. There will be major updates coming to the core sim and technology. Firstly, the client will be thinner. This means you will only download what you need, which reduces the install size and amount you need to download. Loading times will be reduced, which for anyone who has a plethora of add-ons installed, yep, it's a bit of a pain at the moment. Those who don't have the best hardware, fear not, as the min spec will still be kept quite low. All of this will be backwards compatible, add-ons will still work and you will still have a community folder. This is more focused on the simulator side of things which more and more will be moving up to the cloud. Next we are going to be getting a new physics and aerodynamics engine. This is massive news and I'm sure everyone will be excited by this. Aircraft makers will now have the ability to put surfaces where they please as well as the addition of templates. The engine has been rewrote for massive performance improvements. It's going to be multi-threaded and on a different core to the sim. It's also going to handle rigid as well as soft bodies, tissues and ropes for the likes of hot air balloons and hoisting. It's also going to be backwards compatible and easy. Developers won't have to redo everything, which should mean we won't have to wait long for our favorite aircraft to come to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. We also get a demo of the new balloon physics. You can see the balloon inflating and also what happens when it deflates, all fully simulated. Next, another massive update about systems. What's coming is shown on the screen. Uh, we didn't get much info about this, but it's very cool to see that all the default aircraft will get an AFB. The next topic is digital twin. What's that? Well, there's a new update coming to photogrammetry. We saw in the recently released trailer what look to be better textures and this has been confirmed. In the Grand Canyon shot, these are updated 15 centimeter resolution textures. We also see updates coming to the tin, which look fantastic and tessellation will also be coming. Furthermore, there will be a new 3D out of 2D scenery. Example shown is Kilimanjaro where photogrammetry data is unavailable. Satellite imagery will be used and will be a resolution of 50 centimeters. Not quite as good, but any areas that looked very poor will look even better in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The team divides the world into three. Static, dynamic and living. Updates coming to the static world are improved ground details, 3D tessellated ground materials, enhanced tree diversity and improved cliffs. We are finally getting 3D trees. In the dynamic world, we are getting full seasons. Also, these may come to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The introduction of the Aurora Borealis, as well as its southern counterpart. Tornadoes, supercells and storms will be improved. In the living world, the team will be bringing tons of animal herds and migration. We sort of already have that in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 at the minute, but it isn't the best. There will also be worldwide live ship traffic accurate live air traffic finally the team are also trying to get as many real world liveries as they can like we're seeing uh, the iberia in the original trailer finally improvements are going to be made to the vehicle traffic that we see on the roads following this news i'm very excited by microsoft flight simulator 2024 and i'm sure you are too show me how excited you are by hitting that like button Subscribe to the channel for all the latest flight simulation news and more. Also, leave a comment and tell me which part you're most excited about. Thank you for watching this simulated video and we'll catch you in the next one.